still feels like a dream. It all started yesterday night. After so much going back and forth, finally got her to come out on me. I know we've been arguing for quite a while now, but you know, I really felt like it was the time to make things right. I planned a meal out in London. good just a week ago you know we made up after so much arguing and then yesterday we just felt to take her out for a nice meal up in London you know uh, and I felt I felt nothing it was it wasn't really tense it was just a it felt like a really nice vibe and after we got into the tables our section she asked for me to look after her bag and felt a bit kind of funny when she left the phone on the table because she never really did that. The phone was always stuck to her palms, you know. Um, after about 30 to 40 seconds of her walking away, I just felt like the phone was staring at me and I'm not usually the kind of type to go through a woman's phone but before I knew it I picked up the phone I rambled through the BB mate the BB messages and the text messages and, and after a while I started to feel paranoid and I felt you know maybe my mind's just playing games with me. So I dropped the phone. A couple more minutes passed and she still wasn't back and I felt like the phone was just sort of talking to me and before I knew it the phone was in my palms again and my fingers just sort of led me to the save messages and my heart was just beating so my heart was beating fast and I saw you know a few text messages from uh, a random number, I was no sort of name saved of it and I opened one of the text messages and I guess my, my heart was put at rest when it just seemed like normal banter, normal conversation. I noticed there was a few dozen more text messages from that number and I guess my heart sunk when I sort of hope open one of them. There's a few sensual references to last summer, so I felt to myself, you know, well, I looked around again, she was still wasn't around, and I definitely knew something was up. And I guess the last blow was here when I opened the last sex message. Start calling anyway. The last last text message was just just no. I just felt so angry and when I look at the time and the date that the text message was sent, it was just about a month ago and you know, we was on holiday together. At this time, I saw her just walking towards me with a smile on her face, and she looked so angelic. And how could she cause so much fury? Before I knew it, I was up, and next thing I remember, I just grabbed her by the throat and a couple swear words, and she just looked so shocked. And the phone was still in my palm. And my hands were shaking and I wasn't speaking and I was 
one hand on her throat, the other hand on, my, on, the, on her phone, and I was just communicating just for her to explain herself without saying no words. And I guess she kind of figured out when she looked at the phone and she looked at the anger in my face. And the next thing I just remembered was being outside of the restroom with my hands on my back. and the security guys were just all over me and the last glimpse that I caught of her was through the restaurant window and what I what I thought was you know was gonna be a look of soberness a solemn look a very ap apologetic look it was just filled with so much disgust like I just heard her screaming, Waste man, you're nothing anyway. You're a waste man. And my heart just ripped from anger. It just turned to hurt. I just felt, I just felt like nothing. I'm just sitting here. text messages going through Facebook Twitter just trying to find the missing links you know like, oh, where, where did it uh, you know where did it all sort of go wrong you know I was I was a good guy I never cheated once I never even gave up opportunity to think I was cheating, you know. I was always there when she called me for a favour. I was always there. And she asked me to pick her up, dropped her friends off. And she asked for some, something. I was always, always there. I was the epitome of a perfect guy, the perfect gentleman. about four missed calls and the question I keep asking myself is do I love her and of course I do I was I was, I was ready to give it all up you know I was I gave it all up just, at all costs I was just ready to give her everything my time my money my name I don't know if I can get over this one of another guy holding her, kissing her, it just, it just doesn't feel the same, I couldn't even look her in the eyeballs, I was ashamed, ashamed, just belittled, didn't know what I felt like I could. I felt like I was just embarrassed. I felt like crap. I just couldn't even look her in the eyeballs. Couldn't maintain eye contact. I felt like my manhood was just ripped apart from me, you know. Like another man was giving her something I couldn't. Am I to blame? She to blame? What did I go wrong?